Hey, Carlos, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to show us uh, this new enhanced communities pages that you've been working on. Do you mind showing, sharing your screen with us? Sure. I'm going to share my screen. This is what we are working on. It's a new enhanced community. We have a, a listing stats atom that shows the most popular, most expensive and less expensive results. We have here a community info atom that shows the number of properties and averages. We also have a map, Google map, that is centering whatever you want. We can uh, center and show places nearby your, your community. And the last atom we have is the Yelp business integration. We can have a, a lot of business near the community. This is what we, what we have. So let me ask you a question, Carlos. Those averages and those statistics up there, do, does the client just type those in? Does the real estate agent just type those values in or how, does, how do they get those? No, they are generated uh, automatically by the search results. Okay, cool. Would you be willing to show us how one of these, how you put one of these together? Maybe an example like this one? Okay. Well, we have to go to the IDX add-ons dashboard. Here we can, we can have a, we can search for the add-ons. Uh, maybe we, we want the, only the community info or, or maybe the community map. But what we, what we want to show you is that we have a new community page builder where we can have uh, many add-ons and layouts to build your own uh, as, as you want, your own community page. This works like blocks. You can have, you can have here many blocks. So is that kind of like Elementor works on WordPress or the way the WordPress page builder works? Exactly. It's like Word, WordPress. OK. You can get here and start adding, start filling the, the forms, but we want to start over. So we know how does it work. Is that right? When the, when the page load, does it automatically show those three options that you have right there? Yes, exactly. OK, cool. Is to build this, but we are going to to build it one by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing, the first add-on we we are going to to use is the listing stats add-ons. It shows the most popular, most expensive, and less expensive results. Here you are going to have all your safe links. You only need to choose the one you want. For this one is Palm Beach real estate. Okay. And then click on generate subheader. Okay. You will have this code. You click here to copy. And then you will need to log into your IDX broker dashboard. Okay. Go to design, then website and save links. You have to search your save link and click on edit preferences. Then you have to, under subheader, paste the code you already copied and save changes. Okay, now we are going to refresh the page and see what do we have. What do we have? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So those, those properties that you're showing, how often do those update? Do those update every day or, or how often? They are updated every time you refresh the page. Oh, okay, cool. If you have a, this one that have, has three views, maybe another day that become the most popular. And the next time oh, okay. you will have the updated. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. 
but we want to add more more adults. We can get over here again and click on a new add-on. I'm going to show you how to add a two column a, a layout. Click here, two column layout. You can um, specify a max width. For example, I'm going to say 100% and the separation between columns. I'm going to, to say uh, 20 pixels. And let's start by adding content. You can have two columns here. The first one, I'm going to, to select the community information add-on that we already that we already used it before. Okay. And here, uh, if you click on generate subheader, you need to specify a, a community community name. Okay. Okay, and now we generate the subheader and we have the new the new Section. So when you hit that generate subheader, does that save that information there? Is that is that kind of what you need to do? Exactly. It adds the new add-on to your code. Okay. And maybe sometimes some pages can become very large and very complex. Okay. So we minimize the blocks, and we can also uh, select the order. This is very okay. to choose who, which add-on is going to be at the top, the next one, and so, so on. As you're building those, you can just select how, how they're gonna be as far as what's on the top of the page and what's lower on the page. Exactly. That's, That's cool. Okay, I'm going to add the second column. This is going to be the community map. And I can center the map by zip code, by chords and by save link results. If I select. So if you put in the coordinates, you put in the latitude and longitude, is that what you're putting in there on the coordinates? Exactly. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, you can do Google map, a search for a place, copy the latitude and the longitude. Okay, cool. You're going to have the Google map center. Okay, right where you want it. Exactly. Okay, cool. I'm going to select a save link. Sometimes a uh, save links uh, results is not very accurate using the zip code. So we can select the other ones if we don't have the map uh, right. Okay. Copy code and update. Okay, so you just put that there instead of what you already had? Exactly. Okay. Replace it and refresh. And now we have. Nice. Exactly. You can change the order. If you can, you want to have the map at the left and the info at the right, you can. Okay. The last one, the yeah, business add-ons. Uh, this is very good. May this shows the business and the local uh, content that you want. It, there is a limit of 10, but later we're going to add more um, a specific uh, limit or, or maybe a, if you only want restaurants, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. In address, we can uh, write the, the same address or we can choose the next city, for example, okay. if a community that doesn't have many results. I'm going to write Pound, pound Beach. So, so you're saying that right now it's just showing like the first 10 results from, from Yelp, but later you're gonna add in some functionality where people can select what they want out of that. Yes, what they want. Okay, perfect. Okay, generate some header, copy code, and paste. Let's refresh. Nice. And now we have, exactly, we can search here, for example, a bakery. And we have the bakery. Okay, that's cool. Later, we are going to add more sort and search filters.
That's awesome. So if we go back up and look at that Google map, can, do you mind if we look at that for a second? So that just pops it in there and it's based on the saved search. Is that the center of that saved search or what is that? It's the center of the first uh, result. Okay, is that is that where the first result is? Right there where that? Exactly, yeah. right so there. If you zoom out, will it show more stuff there? Like if you, will it show more things in that area? Is that what that does? And you kind of drag around and see what's what's around there. Okay, that's cool. And then you're still showing all the property results down at the bottom of the page too, right? Exactly. Here. That's awesome. Hey, well, that's that's fantastic, Carlos. I'm gonna I'm gonna save record this and I'm gonna share it on our YouTube channel. I think we have a lot of clients that are gonna be really excited about seeing this, and I want to show it with some of the people over at IDX Broker too. I think they're gonna really like this. Okay. Thank you so much, Carlos. I appreciate your time today. Thanks to you. Okay, have a good one. We'll see you.